Hey what's up guys and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. Now, Team of the Season is right around the corner so uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going to get a chance to put out some Team of the Season related videos at some point this week so do look out for that. And then once Team of the Season starts I'll probably just go mad with the uploads like I usually do around Team of the Season. Anyway guys, in the comments below let me know who you think will get an info on this week, also if you could leave a like on the video that would be awesome. So, let's get into my predictions. We start off with Timo Horn of FC Cologne. Now, I'm not confident about this one, to be honest with you, but um, there were not many gold goalkeeper um, candidates, so um, who knows who could be in goal this week. Let me know you think will be in goal in the comments. Anyway, I've gone for Timo Horn, who made four or five saves in a nil-nil draw with Dortmund. Next up is Gary Cahill, who got himself a goal and put in a very good performance in Chelsea's 3-0 win away at Everton. Benedict Huvedes is up next. He got himself a goal in Schalke's 4-1 win away at Bayer Leverkusen. And we've got another Bundesliga player. We've got David Alaba who got himself a goal in Bayern Munich's 6-0 win on the weekend. Now, with them winning 6-0 against Wolfsburg, as you can imagine, there are loads of candidates. You've got the likes of Kimmich, Lewandowski, Thomas Muller and players like that. But I'm going to go for Alaba just because he hasn't gotten in form already. And to be honest, I don't know what EA will go for, but I do think they'll be in form from Bayern this week. Moving on to the midfielders, we start off with Saul of Atletico. Now, he got himself a goal and an assist in a 5-0 win for Atletico Madrid. In that game, Gamero scored twice, but um, I just think EA might go for Saul instead. James Rodriguez got himself two goals in a 6-2 win for Real Madrid. As you can imagine, with it being quite a high-scoring game, there are quite a few candidates, but I've gone for James Rodriguez. However, I would not be surprised to see Marcelo getting in form this week because he got the winning goal in Real Madrid's other game in a 2-1 win against Valencia. Ricardo Pereira is up next. Now, if this card happens, it would be the perfect right mid for the 3-5-2 formation. That's if it did happen. Now, Ricardo Pereira got himself a goal and an assist in Nice's 3-1 win against PSG. And that win has uh, it's put Monaco in the driving seat to win League One this year. Staying in League One, we've got ourselves Forvin, who could get another another inform. He's having a pretty good run at Marseille right now. He got himself a hat-trick. Yeah, another hat-trick. He got three goals and an assist in a 5-1 win for Marseille. In that game, um, a silver guy called Lopez also got two goals, so he could also get an inform, or he might get one instead. Raul Garcia is next. He got himself two goals in a 3-0 win against Celta Vigo. Samuel Eto'o could get an inform this week. He got a hat trick in a 5-2 win against the Danisport. The final player in my starting eleven this week is Bastos, and you can probably guess what he did. Of course, he got another hat trick. This time in a 3-2 win against Braga. He is absolutely on fire for Sporting in the Portuguese league right now. What a season he's having! He's definitely getting a team of the season card, and the way he's heading, it could potentially have 99 shooting, which will be insane. Anyway guys, that is my prediction for the starting 11, let's get on to the bench and reserves. So, onto the bench we go, we're starting off with Jakubovic of Hull City. Now, EA have been ignoring Hull City players recently, so I'm not confident about this one happening, but hopefully it does. Jakubovic saved a 19th minute penalty to um, save Hull a point in their 0-0 draw with Southampton, and that point could be vital in Hull City's fight to stay in the Premier League. Dusan Basta got himself a goal in Lazio's 3-1 win against Roma. In that game, Keita scored twice, but he was in form last week, so he won't get an in form this week, so I've gone for this Basta card. David Junker got himself two assists in a 2-0 win for his team. So now we come on to Victor Wanyama. Now, there's bound to be an in form from the North London derby game, which I'm not going to go into details about for obvious reasons, but um, as you know, Tottenham won 2-0. Deli Ali and Harry Kane both got the goals, but they've got so many cards already, I just don't see them getting another inform for just one single goal. Um, Jan Vertonghen got man of the match, but he's going to be in the team of the season most consistent gold side. So Victor Wanyama putting a good performance, so we could see an inform Wanyama in this week's team of the week. Let me know your thoughts on that theory in the comments below. Next up is Lee Griffiths of Celtic. He got himself a goal and an assist in Celtic's 5-1 win against Rangers. Mattia Destro got himself two goals and man of the match in a 4-0 win against Udinese. Next up is a Barcelona attacker who is not Messi, Neymar or Suarez. It's Paco Alassa, or is it Paco, Paco Alassa? I'm not actually sure. Anyway, this man got himself two goals in a 7-1 win for Barcelona. Now, in that game, Barcelona obviously won by quite a big margin, 7-1. 
Andre Gomez scored twice, Messi got two goals as well, Rakitic got two assists and Mascherano got his first Barcelona goal and also got an assist. So there are multiple candidates from Barcelona but I am going for this man. Although I've got a sneaky feeling Ian might go for Mascherano instead. Nico Schulz got himself a goal and an assist in a 2-1 win for his side. Next to him is another Bundesliga player. We've got Max, who originally is a left back, so this would be a position change card. Also, very good for the 3 5 2 formation if it does happen. Max got himself a goal and two assists in a 4 0 win for Augsburg. Raul Rui Diaz got himself a hat trick in a win for his side. And then we come on to this man, Pavlovich, who got a hat trick for a win for Copenhagen. However, I'm not confident about his form because it happened in the league playoffs. So sometimes EA include playoffs, sometimes they don't. So um, yeah, I'm not confident about this one happening. The final play in my predictions this week is an informed Diego Costa. Now, I put this one at the end just because I'm not too sure about this one happening. It was from last week's, uh, no, it was from Tuesday's game. Costa got two goals and an assist in uh, Chelsea's 4-2 win against Southampton. So I'm just not 100% sure about it. So I put it at the end instead. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. So, guys, those are my predictions for this week's team of the week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Team of the season soon, so we can look forward to that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.